Hi guys, welcome to this video. My name is Victor Asuncion. I'm the president and CEO of Sky Solar. And I wanted to share with you one of the things that we've been doing for the past five days. So I've been here in Nueva Ecija, somewhere in the middle of an agricultural land. And we've been building a 30 kilowatt energy system. So here you go, as you can see, all the solar panels are already set in place. Somehow this roof right here is currently operational in charging uh, the... 400 amp hour lead acid battery so during the day the solar is going to be producing the electricity for your appliances and all of the excess electricity that is not used is going to be charging the battery currently we're just powering some power drills and everything like that so it's nothing too heavy so majority of the power we're harvesting right now is going into the sealed lead acid battery so yeah imagine this like it's amazing how we're connecting and having a marriage of two industries, the agricultural industry and the solar renewable energy industry to kind of support each other, to help each other uh, achieve a greater, you know, future for the people of humanity. See how beautiful that scene. Wow, amazing. Welcome. You can see a small settlement here of the the people working on the building the the solar set in place first the solar being installed first the great thing about it is that workers need tools in order to work anong anong ginagawa niyo dito pump house oh so may pump na kayo oh, ayos ayos so the pump electric pump na yan no so yan ang nagpa-pump ngayon gumagawa ng pressure para sa para sa tubig ng CR. Nagagamit niyo na yung pump ko ya. Pa, paano niyo nagagamit yung pump? Saan ang gagaling yung kuryente? Solar. Ayos, ayos. Sige, tapos ngayon yung welding machine mo, solar na rin nagpapa-under niyan, no? Galing, oh. It's quite fascinating. Tapos ayun. Ito, ito. Ito CR. So, powers connected here. The lights here. One of the great things about building this place was we designed it to be as efficient as possible for solar. Running a battery bank system like a BESS, we have an energy storage of 12 volts. 12 volts. So all the lighting that we use for here is 12 volts. And dami nyang dinai pass na conversion. Kasi usually yung LED lights natin, kaya mataas din yung wattage niya. It's because kinoconvert pa yun, may rectifier pa na ginagamit to convert it. But here it's fully, ano na, fully DC powered lights na siya. Liwanag sa gabi. Kahit paanda rin mo yan throughout the night, huwag mo nang patayin yung ilaw, hindi ka maupusan ng power. Alright, dito naman tayo sa ano natin, sa sa may solar modules natin. Majority of the solar modules are positioned and placed on this structure right here. So, pag in round mount mo kasi yung solar module ng mababa, sayang yung space. So, ito, we've elevated the space and we've created a shading. Pwede kang mag-gardening dito. Pwede mo tong pagandahin. Ayusin mo. Cemento mo, itiles mo. Pwede kang recreational area. Pwede ka maglagay ng inflatable swimming pool. Pwede ka maglagay ng jacuzzi. Maglagay ka ng bar. Although the railings would allow a small gap, hindi siya waterproof. But, pwede mo rin siya lagyan ng sealant between the gap para maging waterproof. But basically, ang kagandahan nito, hindi ka nagagastos ng ano, hindi ka nagagastos ng yero. The solar module itself, pwede mo na siyang gamitin bubong. It's unbelievable. Ang lamig. Ang lamig dito. Compared kung bilad ka sa araw, kung bilad ka dyan sa araw na yan, init. Dito, maliwalas. Malamig. Ngayon, yung inclination ngayon ng solar module natin, hindi, na, hindi, ma, hindi natin masyado tinaasan kasi we have to consider yung wind load ng whole structure natin. Kasi syempre, pag nilagyan mo ng mas mataas na inclination yan, may risk ka na pag malakas na malakas ang bagyo, hahanginin yan. Lalo na considering the fact na we are in an open field. Ayun, so we have taken that in consideration. 
Ngayon, ginagawa pa yung electrical wiring. but nabubuo na siya papunta dun sa electrical room natin? Ngayon. Alright. Dito naman tayo sa electrical room. Pasensya na, medyo makalat pa. Tatrabaho pa yung mga tao natin. Ngayon. Si Kuya Rene. Si Eko. <laughs> Kuya, kumusta yung ano? D bago... Bago gumana yung solar, ano yung ginagamit yung kuryente? Generator. Ano yung dire-diretso yung ginagamit? Hindi. So ano nangyari? Paano, paano yung sistema ng buhay? Parang... May delay sa paggagawa. Hindi nyo nagagamit yung welding machine dun sa ano, no? masyado? Eh paano sa gabi? Buong gabi nyo pinapaandar yung generator? Eh, paano yung sa bahay? Ilaw? Flashlight. Mas, mas okay na ngayon? Mas maginhawa na ngayon yung ano? Sa solar. Dire-diretso na yung gamit, no? Ano na yun? Kuya, kumusta naman yung love life mo? May asawa ka na ba? Meron na. So, lumabas muna kami ngayon. Um, we're planning to have lunch. And, um, isip kami kung saan ba, ba, saan ba tayo pwede makahanap ng local Nueva Ecija lunch. And, baka kung wala tayong mahanap, ang mangyari sa atin is... Isang buong araw. Oh. Hindi, hindi nyo na siya pina, iniiwan dito tapos uwi na. Tapos babalikan bukas. Hindi. Hindi na. Dire-direcho. Eh paano? Anong mangyayari? Kunyari biglang umulan. Eh, pukuli po namin niya. Pahayan po na mag-iulan. Pahangin na. So, uh, ano? Sakon niyo ulit? Oh, tapos, tapos bibilad na naman pag umaraw niya. Bukasan. Hindi na bukasan. So, umapagin ang hasil. So, sabi niya lang ang hirap. Oh. Pag ganito, sa sasawad ng isa na mahalo, pag sa kabila, depende ka na yung inaabang, depende sa mga ibilang, mga ibilang. Mga katulad ng ganito, ilang gano'n ka tayo? Oo, pero kapag ang mga nagkita, mga 400, 400. Ano, araw, 400 per day, sa taga-bilan. Ang isa lamang na kuya, Momer. Sige, sige. Hello. Sige pa. Here for the past 5 days, has been such an eye-opening experience for me. I'm falling more and more in love with Nueva Ecija. It's such a big place. I mean, there's not a lot of malls that you can go to, not a lot of the developments. I mean, there's probably not a Starbucks for like the next 10 to 15, maybe 20 kilometers away. But I'm falling in love with it because of the people and of the agriculture in this place. Uh, we, we were we were talking to Kuya earlier at the street. Tapas, he was basically his job was drying rice. So the way they dry rice is they're gonna they're gonna scatter it all over the highway floors, and then they have to pick it up, and then when it's dry, and put them back in the bag. So I was asking him a question because I've always been baffled about the idea na parang paano kung umulan or paano kung nasagasaan or paano kung ninakaw kasi it's just sat in the street diba? and then I was able to ask him the question and even finding out na the salary is 400 pesos per day could you imagine and I mean I've, I've always been this guy who's like I, I, I have compassion for farmers kasi they feed the people you know I, I want to tell you this story back when I was a kid and I was studying um, in high school and my, I had a classmate who was South African and we were talking about like what kind of jobs we wanted to be to, to have when we grow up what kind of career do we want to 
want to be in. And then he told me that he wanted to be a farmer. And it was quite unusual for me being a Filipino. Now, why would you want to be a farmer? A farmer doesn't make that much money. Tapos, I found out na sa, Pilip sa South Africa pala, in parts of Australia, farmers are the highest paid, you know, it's the highest paid job in their country. And then, I just grew in more compassion for Filipino farmers and want to know how we can improve and develop our agricultural industry. How can we make this better? How can we make the lives of the Filipino people who are tending the soil, diva, and growing the, the rice, growing the vegetables, growing the fruits, how can we make their lives better? And that is something definitely that I realized that I really, really, really want to do. Veronica and I were talking about like what the me what's the meaning of Nueva Ecija, you know? And apparently, I, I did some of my guesses, which was wrong. But we found out that Nueva Ecija is a new city, and it's a city from from Spain. And Nueva means mean, uh, new, so it's, it's the new city. Nueva Ecija is the rice capital of the Philippines. Did you know that? So kind of the idea that I have in mind is we just recently did purchase a property in Bulacan which is very similar to something like this and our goal is to have technology needs agriculture how can a young person who is into the modern age still get into agriculture and there's a lot of avenues for people to actually do that we have aquaponics we have hydroponics we have agrivoltaics. There's so many aspects in wherein we can actually do that, but it's not that common here. And I think that's one of the things that this YouTube channel is gonna do, is that we're gonna try to get down to those people. Let's try talking to the heroes of our society today. The ones that's focusing on industries that are not just for profit, but really making a change for the future of humanity. So those, that's one of the things that I just wanted to bring up and one of the things that I kind of like really got myself into while I was here in my state. For you guys out there who have seen this video and we're on the same page, we're on the same boat of our passions for, for renewable systems and just really loving Mother Earth, sustainability and health, please do like send us comment down below send us any um, recommendations who other business people out there who are doing the same kind of movement what kind of brands and businesses are making those same movements we want to we want to be able to cover them in the videos that we're making that concludes this video that we've made I'm gonna be having I'm gonna be putting down my links somewhere in this video screen Tapas, please subscribe. Um, follow up on the next videos that we're creating. We're gonna try to make this thing as entertaining and as um, informative as possible. Again, see you guys for the next video.